You get more than just coffee with S&D Coffee. You get global sourcing capabilities, product innovation, and a commitment to category management that will maximize your sales around the clock. If it's hot, S&D has it in a growing portfolio of products and brands, along with coffee that's rated among the best in the world. For your store, make it coffee and more. Hi, this is Steve Holtz for CSP TV, coming to you from the NAX State of the Industry Summit in Chicago, where Fran Duskowitz of Nice and Easy and the NAX Research Committee just gave the top line numbers of convenience store industry sales for 2010. One year ago, he said, retailers were getting used to flat being the new up. For 2010, however, retailers are getting used to more. That is, more stores, more sales, more costs, and more credit card fees. But along with that came more pre-tax profits. Industry data shows convenience store counts rose 1.2% to more than 146,000 sites in 2010 after two years of decline. Total C-Store sales were up 12.6% to nearly $576 billion, with increases of 17.2% in fuel sales and 4.4% in in-store sales for the year. Pre-tax profits saw a healthy 35% growth to $6.5 billion, but with it went credit card fees, which rose 21.6% to $9 billion. And if we're going to attach one word to that $9 billion, that word is obscene. That is obscene. That, that is very much like MasterCard or Visa has imposed a national sales tax upon us. That's very much what it's like. Gasoline consumption gained back about half of the volume it lost since 2007, but trends suggest more declines are to come. They're just better gas mileage. Even if they drive more miles, there's just going to be fewer stops. We have to think about giving people more compelling reasons to stop at their locations than just to fuel up because those fueling occasions are going to drop. That is just reality. Fuel gallons were up 2.2% even as the average selling price rose 14.7%. Food service and merchandise sales were both up more than 4% and cigarette sales grew 5.8%. We'll take a closer look at how the major categories broke down next week on CSP-TV.